Hi everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good day to whoever find this video um, helpful. So what I am going to do here is I'm showing you to how to enable your Facebook Messenger notifications to your Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra because I have been figuring this out the last few days because I have an older watch which is the Galaxy 4 but then I didn't have to do any changes of the settings on it the moment that I connected to my phone before everything that I need is there every notifications that I want to be to to have in my watch is there already so it, it's just like connect and then use but this time it's been like few days and I was like why is it that there's no notifications for my Facebook on on uh, this watch so I've been looking up I uh, found out like most of the thread that I I was reading I found out that um, Facebook Messenger is not compatible to install in the watch so well for me it doesn't it's not really a big thing because all I need is the notification itself so because for some reason um, I'm more on a, a messenger person than the uh, real messaging um, application on the phone right so it's more on that so and I don't I just don't want to miss like important messages if my phone is away and at least I, I could have it on my phone and I'll get notified or in my watch and I'll get notified immediately so I can just get my phone and stuff like that so okay so as 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 has been said it it's more the uh, I couldn't find any like direct step-by-step uh, -step process for this model Although there are lots of um, guides for the uh, older watches. So at first I didn't know that it, it's, it's not going to work like that. So I have to, to do some readings basically. So yeah, on this I want to show you on how, how did I uh, get it working. In case there is somebody out there that needs some guide. And it, it, it always good to have something that you can have a reference with okay so here we go so basically these two are connected already this this watch and phone is talking so this is an android phone android samsung phone of course and this is the uh, samsung galaxy watch ultra so now what i did is actually first i tried to when i i mean i'm started up I tried to like find it here in, in Google Play and obviously if you type it there messenger it doesn't come up you can try it yourself because again it says that it's not compatible or maybe it is compatible if you are very tech savvy person there will be always a way to do that like a, a third party applications and stuff like that right but since I don't want to be more complicated about it and I don't really need the application itself again then I just settled it with notification and that is something that I want to work on this watch. So uh, going on, these are for the application, these are the installed application, pre-installed applications in your watch and some are from the phone itself that's been installed here. Okay, and you can change that. But on this one, see there is no messenger on that, there is a a messages and a google messages application and that's it so on this you only need to go to the watch settings and from there you can see the notifications you just click on that and then app notification click on that again and then you will be brought to the pre-installed app again and then from there you can turn on and off the notifications but then again we don't have the applications right so we just scrolled up until we reach to the bottom and you will see that 
settings in the bottom that says manage on phone so since i um since i have said that these two are already connected through bluetooth and these two are already talking so on this watch i also connected it to our wi-fi connection already so it has an internet access to it so just to make sure that there in case there are settings that needs to work on the wi-fi or things like that then it's i just i have to connect it so i work on like i work on that way so again we have the manage on phone settings there so given that your watch and phones are connected already and it's connect the watch is connected to your wi-fi connection then just press on the manage on phone and now it almost automatically um, open up your phone so on here we can actually put this watch away for now because we don't need it because from now on we're going to work our way in setting up in your phone so here we are being brought to the app notifications and then it says choose which watch and phone apps are allowed to send notifications to your watch in this case you can see all the watch apps here that's been installed too right so in here um watch apps and your phone apps is there so here you just scrolled up again and find the on this one i'm we're looking on the facebook messenger um application so there it is right so scrolled up or and down and it, when you find it or whatever um applications that you want to have notifications in your watch then yeah you can absolutely do that too so in here basically earlier these are turned off to like the others so we just have to turn it on again and then click on the messenger there and then here you can you're you are definitely brought to the allow notification settings and its sub settings on this part here earlier it's it's turned off for the second settings here it says custom watch notification style so you have to turn that on to be able to see the sub settings of your notification so in my case there's an alert and silent there so i don't want any silent there i want to have to have an alert so that i will hear like if if you want a vibration or you want a notification sound right in my case i want a notification sound because if i don't like anything vibrating on my wrist so notification sound instead you're doing something then at least if there's a call in your messenger or if there's a messages then there's a beep or a thing but in here i'm doing the notification sound in its default settings too default notification sound so you have some choices there like splash welcome ping flicker dew drop something like that but i'm more used to default notification sound so let's stay on that and that's simple and that's the end so you just have to after turning that on or setting that up then you just have to exit 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 and exit and finally close the app there you go and basically we're all set up for your notification um in my case i didn't really restart my watch or restart my phone it's just like after some uh, so, uh maybe few minutes and then i can actually see that my phone receives notifications from a call it rings perfectly and the good news too is when somebody messages me on on messenger i can actually see the messages too and i can reply to it even without the phys or the physical application or the application itself downloaded on here so basically it, it works like the same right um it's the same thing with with my older watch but then before again i i don't need to set it up it just works simultaneously so it's good it's a win-win so this time i just have trouble <laughs> trouble trouble sorry i just had trouble of of like thinking around i was like what, what's going on where where is the thing and i was kind of like oh dear it's not going to happen it's not um compatible so 
but then thinking that the old watch are are working properly with with the notification and stuff like that so there should be a ways to it so obviously it's working and it works with me i hope it will works with you too so yeah just try doing it and hopefully it works perfectly for you because with me i don't have any problem i have what i need and problem solved okay what well, i will see you next time if there's any interesting that will cut my uh, attention and we'll do some more step-by-step -step guide okay so good luck on your tinkering on your galaxy watch ultra and doing your notifications and some adjustment of your settings okay goodbye and thank you for watching